The Crimson Pirate is a lavish Technicolor adventure comedy from 1952. Burt Lancaster plays the title character. He leads a scurvy crew of pirates across the Atlantic, pillaging every ship they come across. But when they capture a ship that's carrying weapons to bring to the island of Cobra to crush a rebellion that's going on there, Lancaster decides to take the guns and sell them to the rebellion on Cobra instead. And from there, more characters are introduced, more plot points are brought up, and more fighting happens. So yeah, with a plot like that, this film might seem like a bit of a mess, but it's actually not. It's easier to understand when you watch it rather than have me explain it. I read that originally this film was supposed to be more of a serious picture, but as pre-production went on, they decided to make it more of a comedy, and man, was that the best route to go. The film isn't really that funny, it's just more of a fun movie. You can sense that there was a lot of work put into this, and that the actors enjoyed every minute of it. I think that if they went with more of a serious route, the plot would have actually seemed like a mess, and would have been a bit confusing. Here, the confusing nature of the plot that twists and turns adds to the enjoyment. Easily, the highlight of the film are the stunts. Burt Lancaster and Nick Kravitz are so entertaining to watch in every scene they're in. They have such great camaraderie and the things they do are still impressive now. It's no surprise that these two are actually friends in real life, and before Lancaster became an actor, he was an acrobat in the circus. This film utilizes these skills to their advantage and allows for some great stunts. My favorite scene is when they're being chased all throughout Cobra. It reminds me a lot of when Aladdin is being chased through Agrabah, and I wouldn't be surprised if the animators took inspiration from this film. I mean, look at these guys go. They're doing the kind of stuff kids imagine they'd be doing if they were playing pirates. Their acting is pretty good too. Kravit has no dialogue so he has to communicate visually with everyone, and he does it perfectly. I thought for the longest time he was a mute in real life, but actually, it turns out he had such a thick Brooklyn accent that they thought it would be better to have him mute so it wouldn't be distracting. Everyone does a good job giving a fun performance. I especially love Torrin Thatcher. He looks exactly like the typical pirate we think of. He has the voice and the cutthroat persona. Kind of makes me wish he was the main villain of this picture. Speaking of villains, Christopher Lee is in here. Yeah, this is one of his first screen appearances, and he's barely in the film, but man, does he have a devilish presence. He adds a dramatic weight to every scene he's in, which adds some tension to the story that makes it feel like the characters have something to lose. Something I find surprising is that this film was actually directed by Robert Siodmak, the man who directed such noir classics as The Killers, Criss Cross, Phantom Lady, and The Spiral Staircase. Kind of interesting that he would tackle a swashbuckling adventure film like this. Okay, I know this was supposed to be a more serious picture at first, and that back then you had to do whatever the studios told you to do, but I'm still surprised, because usually studios didn't allow directors to delve into different genres. Well, whatever the reason, it paid off because he did an amazing job. This film further shows what a great director Siodmak was because it showcased his versatility. I also love the music. It's so boisterous and fun. It fits the mood of the film so well and really helps the audience feel the adrenaline the characters are experiencing. But don't take my word for it. Go see it for yourself to have some swashbuckling fun.